Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts. It's Scooby Doo Tuesday, guys. You know what that means? Of course, it means we're here continuing the journey of Scooby Doo Mystery Incorporated. We have made it, guys. We have made it to the season two premiere of this show, and the season two premiere is titled "The Night the Clown Cried." I like that title, "The Night the Clown Cried." Interesting stuff. So, as we know, season one ended in a crazy way. The reveal of Fred's dad being the freak that was there during the original Mystery Incorporated, and this treasure and all that kind of stuff, and these discs and all that stuff, and then finding out that Fred's actual parents were a part of the original Mr. Inc., and that he was stolen as a baby to keep them away, and basically the whole gang dispersed and all that kind of stuff, and Professor Pericles betrayed them and all that, and then he was betrayed. A lot of layers. And then Fred basically said that the Mr. Corporate is done. Done. Because of Velma not telling them who Angel really was, and then everything was just kind of falling apart, and Fred was having an emotional breakdown realizing the truth about everything there was so much going on with him i felt really bad for him and scooby-doo they're telling professor pericles i'm gonna bring everybody back together because everyone was disbanding in different ways for different reasons and it was pretty insane this show thankfully has a season two because as we know with a lot of animated shows they have the intention they have the hope they're gonna get multiple seasons and a lot of times their plans fall short because of budget reasons or potential viewership, all that kind of stuff. I mean, perfect example, The Spectacular Spider-Man, which I reacted to on the channel, love that show, was planned to have five seasons, only got two. Thankfully with this show, they wanted more than two seasons, but they were told far enough in advance that they found a way to wrap up the story, apparently in a very, very satisfying and concluding way, so that they could wrap it all up within two seasons rather than get it because they wanted to do more. So thankfully they had this all planned out so they could at least wrap it up. So that's a good thing. So I'm ready to get into this episode, guys. Season one was crazy. I love the fact that this show was dark and there's so much like cool stuff going on and the overarching mystery of it all and everything. And the standalone stuff as well is really good. And I'm so glad you guys recommended me the show. So here we go. The season two premiere of Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated, The Night the Clown Cried. Let's go. I have parents I've never known. The engagement it's good they have a, like, I'm a recap, you know? And I'm leaving tonight. Man, baby, not real. Man, baby, not real. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, shit. <sighs> a new mayor. Myself into... If you ask me, I say it's a mystery. You want this mystery solved to bring them home. Or your run as the new mayor of Crystal Cove is going to be short-lived. Wait, he's in a jail? For what? Hope you had a nice time in the hole. I made a promise Aww. to my friends. Because if I don't, he wins. Sooner or later, I'll escape. Yeah, you will. Interesting. <laughs> Oh, that was cool. <laughs> I cannot believe they sent Scooby to this place. Do I know you? My name no. is Janet Nettles. I'm, I'm the mayor of Crystal Cove. Yeah. The town and I need your help, Scooby. Anything else? Oh. Uh. Got you, Scooby Snacks. Private hippie. Did I not tell you to shoot? Oh my God. Wait, dude, sir. What's happening? Oh shit, not under attack, no. Oh my god, <laughs> careful. Hello, sir, madam. Could you tell me if Brad Childs or Judy Reeves lives what here? What the fuck? This ain't working out, is it? Oh, the tank. Shay, Scooby. Crystal Cove is under attack by a crazy man, baby. Find somebody else. He's also an evil clown. What? But as soon as he's trapped, I'm continuing my search. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. It's fine, you know. Oh, I'm so confused by this villain. Here I come. What is he? He's got a cannon, okay. What is that stuff? That was green. Is there a difference or just colors? Oh! I know this net. You should. You built it. Velma? Who are you expecting? Rorschach? Oh my... <laughs> oh, it's so I should have... I just didn't think about it. It's nice to see you guys, too. Velma? Yep. 
I should have seen that Funny. coming. I wasn't was thinking about it. When we were dating. At first, I didn't care. I didn't want anything to do with mystery solving. Because of us. I'm sorry we left you behind, Velma. In the end, though, I realized I had to help, and I couldn't do it alone. Yeah, I need to get the game back together. Incorporated? We all are. I assumed he drowned in the caves with the pieces of the planisphere oh. disc. Scooby? Like, what's wrong, bud? Terribly survived. I saw him. Boyfriend? That guy? No way. He's too <laughs> handsome. I mean... <laughs> That dude look a lot like that famous actor from all those Dusk movies. What's his name? Well, oh my God. Yeah. He's in Crystal Cove doing research for the latest Dusk movie. Dusk 4, still Dusk. Yeah, I got something Dusk 4, research. still Dusk. And I've never even been farther than Gatorsburg. You know, yeah, Gatorsburg. I remember that. Africa next month. Help me drink, yo. <laughs> okay. A hobo. We've never had one in Crystal Cove before. To think my whole life used to revolve around mystery solving. What a waste, huh? Whoa. Not this again. Is there a problem? This is not my mayor. In the event of a mayoral arrest, I just don't get it. Baylor Hodner doesn't even wear an ascot. Pull it together, friend. He's still thinking about that. <laughs> I don't blame doors? him. Uh, oh. Not the buffet I was hoping for. <laughs> <laughs> there they are. Here to save us from crybaby clown! They hate us until they need us. Typical adult herd mentality. <laughs> Norville, what are you and Scooby doing out of prison in the town? You all know me. You know yeah. how I earn a living. This crybaby clown, swallow your town whole. <laughs> me, or Mystery Incorporated. And I know the perfect... G the perfect... Uh oh. What's wrong? I my trapping knowledge. Somebody get the lights. Here's my question: The sheriff is right there. Why didn't? Of course. But why didn't he get arrested then? Oh crap! Holy crap! Okay. I've been studying crybaby clown for weeks, and I've yet to find a single pattern. Not one clue. Because they're not all together, like maybe. He actually... Fred, he still hasn't shaved or showered. Mystery solving is in Fred, you look familiar. He, so you did you recognize him earlier? Or, oh, oh, no, no. Here for an autograph, I imagine? No, no, no. For the first time, I found someone who cares about me more than their traps. I don't ever want to see you again. She was obviously just covering for Baylor Hotner. No, I At think she was being... Home. I can Truthful. already feel my bucket of donut batter onto the seesaw, which will trigger a water cannon to spray super glue disguised as jelly filling all over Crybaby Clown's feet. This is gonna get awesome. It's gonna get awesome, but Daphne's not gonna be there to, to pull the lever or whatever. No, donut's good, just like brains. Are you coming? Just like brains. <laughs> okay, it's working so far. Wait, there's this that star wasn't this big. Daphne, now. There's no Daphne, Fred. Building a little donut shop trap next to a fireworks store might not have been. Oh shit! See you soon. That's a weird fucking character, but okay. My trap failed, and for the first time, the bad guy got away. Yeah, that's a big thing. It's my fault. And that was the season two premiere of Scooby-Doo Mission Incorporated. And what an interesting way to bring back the show. Even though, obviously, I didn't have to wait a long time for the show to come back or whatever, like when it was airing. But it was interesting to see how they were going to go about bringing them mostly back together. Mostly. Because Daphne, of course, was not a part of this. And Fred was really under this belief that she was just going to show up. Oh, boy. So, number one, I have an issue to pick with shaggy's parents because they sent scooby to not a dog farm they sent him to like a prison that he was stuck in he's tried to escape he was in the hole he they have like all these these spotlights and shit I'm like what the hell is going on scooby was basically you know in a really shitty like a really shitty situation and shaggy kind of as well he was sent to military school or, or whatever the army or whatever the fuck which that whole sequence there was kind of crazy but um it was interesting to see where everyone was kind of at. Now, the only person outside of Velma who was still at Crystal Cove was Daphne, who was still, you know, in the city, in the town. 
but everyone else is in a really different uh, area. So they were kind of suggesting that, of course, at the end of season one, that they were all going to be kind of a different place, or at least some of them were going to be. Because Fred's whole point was Fred was going to be traveling to, to find his parents. Now, here's the thing. I don't know if he knew where exactly he was supposed to be going or whatever, because I think with all, like, because with the humongous beard, I would assume he's been traveling for months, probably longer. I mean, realistically, that beard that long should take years to do, but the show hasn't jumped ahead in years. I'm curious to know how much of a time jump there was, because that beard is unrealistic in the amount of time, because Fred was clean shaven. So it just doesn't make sense. And the fact that the whole entire time he could have easily shaved or showered or did something and did neither the entire time. I feel like he was just all over the place. Uh, He just wasn't thinking about it. So... Seeing Scooby being saved by the new mayor, who was then tipped off by Velma, who was, like, in this, like, dressed up in this, like, you know, mystery, like, detective-looking thing with a voice modulator. At first, I didn't realize it was Velma. I honestly, because once the person threw the the folder with all five members of Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated, the Mystery Inc., and Velma was there, I'm like, okay, so... We need to actually find Velma. Who is this person? And it's Velma. So I'm like, okay, so that's interesting. So Velma was trying to get everybody back together because of this crybaby clown, which is a weird villain. I, I don't know. <laughs> voice by Mark Hamill, by the way. Mark Hamill voice. I, I was kind of hearing a little bit, but I wasn't 100% sure. Saw the credits. Like, okay, it makes sense. It was, it was Mark Hamill. So I wasn't 100% sure on that. But it sounded like him, but I wasn't sure. Um, but she wanted to get bring back together. And then we have this new mayor who apparently was elected officially and all that kind of stuff, even though they're sheriff. He's like, you weren't effective elected officially. I'm supposed to take over. And she's like, that's not how it's supposed to work. <laughs> you got to get voted in. Um, but she did her due diligence, the new mayor. She literally saved uh, Scooby, who was escaping and running away. Um, so she did that and then found out where Shaggy was. And he took over a tank. And nothing, like, the, the government's not coming after Scooby or Shaggy, because, I mean, literally, Shaggy left in the tank. Uh, you would think they would try to chase after them, but I guess consequences in this show doesn't really matter too, too much, I guess, because Scooby literally stole a tank, Shaggy got in the tank, they left. Okay. They found Fred, and, and they were still driving the tank when they found Fred. <laughs> but he's just going around the same, same motel. Hello, sir or ma'am, I'm looking for, and then door slam in his face. So he's been doing this the whole entire time. Has he been sleeping? Where has he been sleeping? I don't know. But then we found he had the, he had the, uh, the machine, the mystery, uh, the machine, right? He had, he had the mystery machine. So assuming he was driving that around, but he was walking door to door. We didn't see it until they started driving back across the cove. So who knows? I'm assuming he was sleeping in there. Maybe, um, but yeah, his whole point was he was going to be only coming back to stop this crybaby clown individual, which they actually didn't stop. It's the first time they've, ever, they've actually failed. Now, you could say, well, the freak, because the freak appeared in episode 25 and then the season finale, episode 26, they did stop the freak. Yes, but they didn't necessarily like come face to face with the freak until episode 26. They had heard about the freak. We saw the freak in episode 25, of course, you know, Fred's dad right? The mayor, the former mayor, but this is the first time they actually went up against a villain. And the way it was all established and set up is that, you know, it was going to fail because the part of the trap was Daphne was supposed to be there. And of course she wasn't. So let's get to that. Let's get to Daphne. So they had addressed something and it's because the crybaby cloud was there in the room when they were all got their mystery ink. Well, mostly together. Daphne wasn't there. Crybaby clown is there, drops a giant like diaper stink bomb or some crap. I don't know. But realizing, oh, I don't have my sensibility of traps. That's what Fred says. And Velma's realizing I've been studying and trying to figure out who this crybaby of a clown is for weeks. And I can't figure out who it is. I have no idea who it is. No clue. Like there, I don't think there was any real hints of who the crybaby clown was. I think because it's because listen, we're not going to capture the character. We're not going to capture the villains. So we don't need necessarily too much of a hint. So there wasn't really any hints to give, but they all realized the reason why we're not all working together cohesively and better to the, like we were before is because we're not all together because they saw earlier in the episode before this kind of realization, Daphne is with a parody version of Taylor Lautner, who of course in the twilight films as the werewolf or whatever the fuck, and so 
the actual actor in this parody called Dusk or whatever. And they're, <laughs> he's doing research called Dusk Force, Still Dusk or More Dusk or whatever the fuck. But he's now dating Daphne. Now, I think after seeing the second scene after the realization, they go to Daphne's house and Daphne's there and recognizes and knows it's Fred. When she came out of the restaurant, which the bloody steak or whatever it's called, but it's that the restaurant we saw in season one. I think she knew that was Fred. I think she knew it was Fred based off of the hair, even though it was longer, but the ascot was still there. The clothes was still kind of there. She recognized because she recognized Fred when she came to the door. But when they were leaving the restaurant, she knew that was Fred. She knew. And she's like, oh, look, it's a bum. It's a hobo. We've never had one of these before. She knows it was Fred. Because when she says the line, I think, I thank God my life isn't surrounded, like, you know, surrounded or consumed by mysteries anymore. You know, like, 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 that, that was specifically said to Fred because he was right there. And when she says to him, when she puts like, you need to go away, what are you doing here? He says, these are kids from my school that I know. Like, these are not your friends, the people you solved mysteries with, you did all this crazy shit together. These are, these are kids you know, Daphne. And then she says, you know, I don't want to ever see you again. I'm actually with somebody who actually cares for me. She's not wrong. And Fred's, of course... Fred being close minded as shit. He's like, I, did you believe that? Come on. She's going to be back with us. Don't worry about it. But she wasn't wrong necessarily about certain aspects of her thing. Now, I think she was part of Mystery Incorporated because she wanted to solve mysteries, but also I think half it was, well, I'm not allowed to half, but part of it was the infatuation and love for Fred, right? They were engaged. Well, yeah, I mean, that, that's still a questionable thing, but still, um, he called it off. But still, like, that was, they had, they had affection, but more so she was very open about it. And Fred was kind of hard to kind of open up about his rule. Like, he said it, but did he really mean it? You know, that kind of thing. So, so there's that. So, she's not completely wrong for what she was saying. She is kind of wrong for putting everybody else down, in a sense. But, like, when she says, I'm with somebody who actually cares for me and is wanting to be with me and da, da, da. like basically saying the things that I wanted you to be Fred, you could not, you would not. So I kind of understand. So yeah, they failed. Crybaby clown is gone and mystery Inc. Seems like they're not completely, uh, it's not working out. It's not really working out necessarily. No, it's not good. Not good. But Hey, at the same time, it was interesting to see where everybody was kind of at. And to kind of go to show that we need all of them together in order to make, to, for things to work efficiently, you know? And unfortunately for Fred, I think, even though it was kind of brutal, what Daphne was saying, I think this is a wake-up call for Fred. A wake-up call to realize, hey, she could have came back if you wouldn't have left the way you did. If you would have told Daphne, hey, can we put off, can we, can, can I, I need to go try to find my parents and since he wanted to go by himself, there could have been a better way for him to say, instead of Miss Rink is dead, I'm calling off the wedding, I'm breaking this off, whatever, I gotta go find my parents. Because she was willing to help, and he didn't want it. If I remember correctly, she said that she wanted to help. If he would have approached that conversation differently at the end of season one, I think things would have been different. But I think Fred realized, now, he fucked up. There's a lot of stuff going on here. I love the fact that the show is, like, like doing a lot of layers of character like development and you know character depth in terms of their relationships and the and the and the, and the choices they make actually have consequences because a lot of times animated shows don't do this now good animated shows do have those things i just said and this show definitely has it because it has character development the character depth and the relationship dynamics and choices and consequences have you know like they change outcomes they actually matter good shows have that there's a lot of animated shows that don't have any of this. So I love the fact that this show is this. Like, th this goes to prove to me, even though we're, we're not even, we're, we're now into season two, but we still got 25 more episodes to get through of this season. But this show has already proven mul multiple times that it can handle more adult themed stuff. And this is why this show is so well beloved by Scooby-Doo fans because of how, how different it is. Because it's, it's willing to go that far in regards to actually giving depth and giving an overarching narrative. It's really good so yeah this episode was ever interesting for sure to see everybody um where they're at and to see most of the gang come out together i hope fred shaves and actually makes himself look kind of like fred again 
And I think this is going to be a journey of uh, getting horse Scooby and the gang getting the Mystery Inc. back together. And for Fred to realize what he did wrong. And for hopefully everybody to be on a better, to, to come out of this whole situation better than they were before. That's the goal. So, yeah, crazy stuff. So, what are your thoughts about this episode, guys? I'm curious to know whatever your thoughts are. Let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed my reactions. It definitely was interesting to see the show come back this way. But uh, I'm loving the show. I really do. And I can't wait to see more. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Talk to you guys soon. Peace out.